UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately, he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 33 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Glover Teixeira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Berno Czech Republic, Yuri Denisa Pochata. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on him. He had a Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Teixeira. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Glover Teixeira. All right, side control now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And he landed the right hand there. Connects with a right. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Glover Teixeira. Under two minutes to go in the round. And he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Teixeira. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they set him. He blocks the punch. Five minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Tonight lands another one there. A beautiful kick. All I can think of, better him than me. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, what a land there by the former world title challenger, Glover Teixeira, one of the more prolific knockout artists in this 205-pound division, and really says he gets all the training he needs at his own gym there in Danbury, Connecticut. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands the right hand. Right hook to the head block. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect. Wow! Oh. <laughs> nice punch there by Tashir. Oh, straight right. Teixeira gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Another one. Up, up and left hand. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. And he continues to work the body here. Ooh, 
Ooh, what a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Teixeira gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big kick. Nice uppercut inside. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there is the end of the round. Some serious liver damage doled out there, and not because of alcohol, just a pinpoint strike that buckled his opponent nearly got him out of there. He's so accurate, and he's so good at finding that sweet spot, that spot that really does usually end the night of your opponent. He's a fantastic performer, and he's doing a great job tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. He blocks the shot. Able to land a looping right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice slip and counter there by Teixeira. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Missed with that attempt. Nice right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Blocks the shot. All right, single collar tie now. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! He's good. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, Chief. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Get the turn in that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Switch knee lands to Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big right hook coming. It's lost. And that one certainly found the target. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice punch there by Teixeira. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result.
passa dele. As quedas foram lindas. E... Ready, fight! Ready! Go! Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let them go. What? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, no! Oh, big left! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. To share his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And they separate. Oh, effective strike there by to share. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Two minutes now to go in the round. Hands on the face. That shot blocked by Glover Teixeira. Beautiful. Oh, hey. He's got him hurt here. Close guard now. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Watch the strike. Nice straight right lance. Oh! What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yuri Denisa Pushkova! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that 